Hey guys, welcome to another video. Yo, how are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, mm, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. So today we are on the floor because I want to talk about all these books that I just bought and these ones here too. So, so it's a massive book haul and also I got some presents from my friend friends plural because they also sent me books and i'm wearing this art stopper shirt today you will soon see why okay so yeah i need to actually do this whole because i need to put them on my shelf arrange them my shelf is not looking okay right now can you see how books are everywhere i need to just set everything up these are the last set of books that i'm expecting i'm not expecting any more books right now so let's get straight into the video so let's start with the ones I just received now, 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 now. I got it from a bookstore called Butch Store. Okay, it's actually like this <laughs> Butch Store on Instagram. And I think this is my first time buying books from this vendor particularly. So inside it, she gave me these um, this stuff. Uh, it's like a bookmark that points exactly to where you are. I have something like this before. And then she gave me these two bookmarks. They are so big, but it's this one that caught my eye. This one in particular, it says, I am the sky and the power of every storm that has ever been. I am infinite. And she quoted it from um, Fourth Wing. I think that is actually really cute. <laughs> then the other bookmark. So the two books I got from her is The Color Purple by Alice Walker. I don't know, it was just a cover that actually drew me to it. I don't even know what it's about. It's so aesthetic and beautiful and just the blend of brown and purple. It's so beautiful. I don't know, I, I like to go into my books blind. Even if I read it to you guys now, Seth, trust me, in the next one minute, I've forgotten what it's about. Okay, so the other book, Daily Words Destiny by Tommy Obaro. This is how it looks like. <laughs> I wanted the ad back, but there's nothing special about it. But yeah. Oh oh, this very secret society of irregular witches, and I got this because a lot of people in their video where they talk about the books that they love most and all that, a lot of people mentioned this particular book, and I was curious and I wanted to read it on my Kindle, but I felt like. If people are talking about it like this, then maybe it's better I just get the physical copy and read. But I didn't expect it to be this small. Like, it's small. I don't know what to use to... Oh, okay. It's like a regular size, but it just looks small. Maybe because of the thickness and all. So this is how it looks like. It would be a nice book to read in full, I guess. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. It's about this particular... It's a classic about this particular guy that is in love with his reflection. So that's all I knew about it. And it's a classic and I want to just get into classics. I bought like some other classics that I plan to get into soon. This is um, Francis Rivers' The Shoe Box. I don't know. I didn't know that it was this tiny. But because I got... From this particular vendor, I got um, The Voice in the Wind by Francis Rivers. So I was like, okay, let me also get this one since it's also the same author. And it was actually cheap. I think they were thrifts. These two were thrifts from another vendor called Novel's Books Collection on Instagram. The reason why I got this book is because when I was in school, when I just started my reading journey and all, everybody was reading Redeeming Love. And I was so... I wanted to get my hands on that book, but nobody wanted to give me that book to read. But I struggled, struggled, and I got the book. I read it. I don't remember shit right now, but it was actually nice. So The Voice in the Wind was the next one, I think. So I was like... I could not get my hands on it and when I was in school it was expensive to buy but now I can buy it so I actually want to get into it oh my god like there's a map did I just see a map or something it's like yeah there's a map inside it like a real map <laughs> then I got City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert I don't know what this book is about either but when it just came out it was very expensive so I saw the thrifted copy and I decided to buy it then the next one I got is Girl Woman Order this one is also thrifted. Yes. I feel like it's going to be one of these books that will be so emotional. Because most of these books that talk about women and all that and 
girls they are always quite emotional then i got also from this vendor i got the collector's edition of six of crows by libadugo honestly this copy is stunning i don't have special i don't really have much special edition in and also it's not really easy to get or to lay your hands on special editions in my country so when i saw this i was like okay i need to snag a copy it just had this red detailing and the back says um this and i need to remove this particular sticker it's annoying so the map inside really cute ask me if i've read six of course i have not I just started um, Shadow and Bone. I've read uh, The Demon in the Wind, which is the first. Then the second is um, Shadow and Bone I've read. So I'm supposed to start Storm and Siege this month, but I'm getting to it. <laughs> then I got this one, The Wizards of Once. The author is the same author that wrote um, How to Train Your Dragon. And uh, I love that movie so much, but I've not read, I didn't read the book, but I just felt like this would be a nice book to read. And it has a lot of um, drawings, like this. I don't know if you guys can see. Then I feel like it would be a nice book to read. Since I like fairy tales and stuff, uh, it looks scary. It says, Once there was magic. It was a thrifted copy, by the way. Then last book I got from Novel's Books Collection is Daughter of the Pirate King. It was also thrifted by Tricia Levencella. I have a copy on my Kindle, but when I saw the thrifted copy, I was like, why don't I just buy the copy and, you know, read it? At this rate, I have a lot of fantasies on my bookshelf that I need to read. I don't know why I keep putting off fantasy. Maybe because I'm scared. I feel like if I get into the fantasy world, that will be the end of my romance books. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so let's get into the gifts that um, Kenny gave me okay kenny thank you so much <laughs> so she gave me the woman who stole my life by marianne Kess. uh this is how it looks like i honestly don't like this author i read only just one of her books so i cannot even decide like that but i'm going to read this inside it she sent some notes and it was so sweet these notes were so emotional for me i uh, if you want to see me reading these notes just go on my instagram i'll link the video down below so you can watch it because if i start to read all the notes it, because she wrote notes in every single one of the books that she gave me we will not leave here today <laughs> so that's that one i think it's a literary fiction i would guess then she gave me this romance it started with a secret by jill mansell i've never read anything by this author but it looks kind of like summer because this lady's at the beach. So it's been a nice time to actually get into it. Then she gave me this one, The Couple at the Table by Sophie Hanna. It's a thriller. Kenny loves thrillers. So she decided to buy me this thriller. And then she told me that she realized that it was a book 11. I even thought it was a book 2 because of the way she wrote it inside the, the, inside the notes. She wrote it here. She was like, book 2. I thought it was 2 that she was writing. But it was book 11. <laughs> so... We are going to body read it together. <laughs> and then she gave me Jojo Moyes, The Girl You Left Behind. I have Jojo Moyes, Me Before You, the plus... No, I don't have the plus one. I have Me After You, I Give Out Stars. And I have um, Still Me. Guess what? I've not read any of them yet. But I feel like she's going to be a writer that I would love. I just need to read all these books on my bookshelf for Christ's sake. So thank you so much, Kenny. <laughs> thank you so much for these gifts. Oh, I got some more books. Wait, wait, wait. From another vendor, I got Little Women by Louisa Mary Alcott. It's also the same thing I was telling you guys. I want to get into um, classics. So I felt like this was a very good start. I opened this and I saw that there are two stories inside. I don't know if I'm mistaken, but it's like Little Women and Good Wives. Or is it supposed to be like that? This is Little Women here and then here just starts Good Wives. So I don't know if it's the same book or it's two books in one but all the same I, I can't wait to get into it i love this cover so much it's so beautiful and it screams winter kind of because of the snow and the window when i read hello beautiful there was reference to little women in it and also when i read seven husbands of evelyn hugo there was also beth mentioned beth in little women so i, I got curious so I was like, okay, I need to read this book. Maybe it will help me understand those books better. Although those books were perfect, honestly. They were perfect. Well, I just wanted to, you know, yeah. From another vendor, I got Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans-Welch. 
this one is a book i've been seeing around but the cover is different and then i went on goodreads to check the review and i saw a lot of people saying that it's a very su sweet and cute summer read and a lot of people gave it four stars and i'm like okay i would i was contemplating but i decided to actually get it then i got this one this letters end in tears uh because my friend kenny hauled she had a haul and i saw this book there and i was like okay tears i'm sold why don't i buy it let me cry so we're going to body read this together so we can cry together <laughs> kind of vibe then i got this book call me legachi by adesua woman wokedi um guys this author has given me a lot of her books and I really, really appreciate it. I love her books actually. And her covers are so pretty. But I wanted this copy and I didn't want her to give it to me because of course I need to support her, you know. So I decided to buy this for myself and I can't wait to read it. Call me Legachi. Honestly, this cover is stunning. The girl looks realistic at the same time not realistic. Do you get me? From a vendor book market on Instagram also. I always buy my books on Instagram. So from Book Market, I got Taming 7 by Chloe Walsh. Promise gift... <laughs> Why do I always want to say gifted? <laughs> Promise gifted me the all four books in this series. The Binding 13, Keeping 13, yeah, everything. So I was like, okay, why don't I just buy the last one? Ask me if I've read it. No, I've not read them, but I plan to. She loves them, so that was why she gave them to me. And she was like, we could be book buddies, you know, that kind of thing. Having the same kind of books and all. Yeah. So the cover is going to match. I can't wait to put it there. Then I got the fourth book in the King of Sins series by Anna Huang. King of Sloth. I've not read the other ones. I have them. They are up there looking at me. But, you know, I just have to have it. Yes. <laughs> Then I also got Alyosa Wood's new uh, release, which is Not In Love. They say this one is much more spicy than a normal books. And I'm here for it. I've not read Bride, but I plan to soon. God, I just need more time. <laughs> now, let's go to the reason why I'm putting on this at Stopper Club. It's because Promise added to my package. She added the all at Stopper books into my package and i opened my box and i was like <laughs> what <laughs> i was so surprised you guys i'm going to link that video also in the description you guys she is something else thank you so much promise honestly these are the most aesthetic books i've ever seen because they are so beautiful what happened was i was like ah i'm thinking about getting astapa because i have the shirt so why not I just buy the book so that i can read the books it's not like i've read it i just got the shirt because i like the you know the aesthetic of course and then she was like oh yeah it's only right if i buy it <laughs> i was so shocked guys i did not expect it promise thank you so much <laughs> so this is the box how it looks like mm, i'm going to be displaying this at stopper and yeah so one so in the back three and back <laughs> book four mm -hmm. and the back cute and this is the look five and the back very beautiful so let's count the books that i got nine books were gifted to me and i bought 17 books so that's nine plus 17 26 books so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and juices. Let me take a thumbnail before I forget. I always forget to take a thumbnail. Hi.